Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you a really cool sampling trick called Alt Looping. Now, basically what Alt Looping allows is say if you have a sample chopped up and you want one of your chops to play longer, it'll play it in reverse. So that'll take care of any gaps that you may have in your beat due to the fact that your chops may be so short. So, I have a sample loaded up. It's the same sample from previous tutorials. And here are some of the chops. All right, and as you can hear, those are really short chops. So I'm gonna use alt looping to make them longer so that if I need to make a pattern with fewer chops, then it'll play in reverse and take care of any gaps that might be in the beat. All right, this is how you do that. All right, you wanna create a new program and instead of the slice type being non-destructive, you go down and you change it to pad parameters. That's very important. Do not have it on non-destructive, have it on pad parameters and then click do it. Now you have your new program, what you have to do is you have to go over to program edit and you have to change some of the pad parameters. First we're going to select all as our edit zone. Now we're going to go down to the edit zone and change it from current to all so that we can affect all the chops at the same time instead of just one. After that, we're gonna go to our pad play mode and switch it from one shot to note on. Then the final step of this equation is we're gonna switch our playing mode in this section where it says pad loop from forward to alt. Now just to show you the difference, I've switched it to forward so that you can see. That's how the note sounds by itself. But if we switch it to alt, now you can hear those slight clicks to let you know that the pad is playing in reverse. So that's just something really cool that you can do to take care of any type of gaps you have in your beat. So let's say we make a quick pattern. Again, just a really quick pattern, not meant to be that fancy or that great, but it shows you that those samples are playing longer than they have before because you have alt looping on, which allows it to just loop and it loops in reverse. So it can create a smooth transition. It doesn't have you, you know, click another pad or anything. You only have to click one pad. It's something really cool that you can do. So. If you have a sample and you notice that your sample uh, chops aren't playing long enough, play around with alt looping and see what it can do for you. And if you have any questions, hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and we will see you next week. Peace.